Hello and welcome to Devotions. And today has been crazy and this is take number 25 it seems like. Um, I do very good at misreading today for some reason and having cars drive by at the most inopportune times. Welcome to Devotions. <laughs> today we are talking about yeast. In Luke chapter 13, Jesus says this, To what shall I compare the kingdom of God? It is like yeast that a woman puts into three folds of uh, flour until it is all leavened. This parable reminds me of my great-grandmother because she would come to our house and stay for an entire week and the first morning she would get up at 5 o'clock and she would make cinnamon rolls. Here is some yeast. It's a little bit of water, a little bit of sugar, and some yeast. And my grandmother would do that to have the yeast start to grow. Uh, there's a little bit of foam on top of the yeast. And if you smell, it smells both sweet and tangy at the same time. It's an incredible smell when you're a little kid waking up in the morning. And it's so exciting to have a worn cinnamon roll in your belly. So when I heard that that's what the kingdom of God was like, that yeast that made that grandma smell in my house, I was always thinking, yes, God, that's exactly what the kingdom of God is like, yeast. Back in Jesus's day, yeast was considered unclean. And the very fact that he connects the kingdom of God to yeast was something that shocked the pants off of the people around him. How dare he call that stuff that is good and delicious to eat, but it is also wild and out of control. Uh, back in those days, they didn't have little granules of yeast. They took a piece of bread, put a little bit of water, and let it sit until it got kind of brownish and occasionally blackish and it had this sweet smell but also a bit of a putrid smell. I think Jesus wants us to understand the kingdom of God is meant to grow. Uh, just like those air pockets, the yeast makes the air pockets grow in our bread and allows the bread to rise. The kingdom of God is in our hearts. And it is meant to grow in unruly, unpredictable, and wild ways. In what way can we nice, polite folk be wild and unruly and share God's love and God's kingdom to the people around us? Maybe it's making cinnamon rolls. Maybe it's reaching out and asking people that we know live alone how they're doing and showing that we care by dropping off something to say thank you for being a part of my life. We are meant to be the kingdom of God. Let us do so with energy and joy. Let us pray. Gracious God, we give thanks that we have these little examples like yeast, and I give thanks for my great-grandmother who made incredible cinnamon rolls I pray that you allow for us this week, this day, to see that you are in our hearts, not just to follow rules, but to be wild and unruly people that are willing to share your love, your forgiveness, your joy in ways that are unexpected and unpredictable. Help us to do so with energy. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Have a blessed day.